This project is probably too much for you, Senpai. Please take a break. <sighs> it seems like our counterpart wants to cancel the contract. It's a major contract, right? Let me handle it. This project is probably too much for you, Senpai. Please take a break. <sighs> Even though we're the same age, I joined out of college, so you're my senpai, right? True, I did join the company before you, but since we're still colleagues of the same age, you can speak casually to me. That's not how that works. So let me handle this kind of project. From now on, I'll take over. So please, don't sweat it. <laughs> huh? Well then, I'll get going to the negotiation right away. I've already scheduled an appointment. Wait a minute, about that project. I'm Keiichi Sato, a salary man. My same age Kohai Hideo went to negotiate with the business partner assigned to me on his own discretion. What do you mean? You clearly don't understand anything about the contract. Why are you here instead of Sato-san? That, that's because... We had originally recognized this as a significant project for our company and wanted to proceed with caution and certainty. But in light of this incident, we will have to consider the contract itself internally. So please, leave for today. Does this mean you're cancelling the contract? That would be a huge problem. Would you please reconsider? Let's call it for today. As for the next steps, we will contact you later about the results of the internal review of the contract. Then please take care on your way back. <sighs> Seems like the client wants to cancel the contract. <clears throat> this project is a major contract that could affect the future of our company. Right, Mr. Senzaki? Indeed, though they seem pretty furious on the phone. Uh, I'm sorry. Keiichiku. Considering the importance of this project, shouldn't you have stopped Hideoku? Yes, I'm sorry. Didn't you brush off Keiichi-san and go on your own to the client, Hideo-san? I understand you want to be of use, but I wish you had consulted with us beforehand. Th that's because... For our company, cancelling this contract... <sighs> I've put ourselves in quite a pickle. Ugh... <sighs> What should we do? But really, what was that all about? There was something off about that person, asking the strangest questions. I responded sensibly as a professional. It's definitely not my fault. Let me handle it. If we head over immediately and sincerely apologize and explain the situation, they might still forgive us. That's our only option. I'll go too. Will you come with us, Yui-san? Understood. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Ah, Sato-san, Senzaki-san, come in. I came to apologize about the incident with our employee earlier. He acted on his own. No, we should have stopped him from coming in the first place. We apologize for the inconvenience. He has been reprimanded earlier, immediately after the incident. We will make sure such incidents never happen again in the future by keeping a close eye on his actions. I understand the situation, Sato-san. Senzaki-san, I don't think you were the type to instruct such actions anyway. Since both of you are here anyways, would you like to discuss the contract? Yes, of course. Thank, Thank you. you. And those were the details of the contract. I understand very well. If Sato-san will continue to handle it, I can trust and proceed with it. Oh? Yes, I'll continue to handle it. Oh, Sato-san, I look forward to continue working with you. Likewise. Well done, Sato-kun. The contract continues. Yes, they seem to trust you too. I realized that again with this incident. That's true. As soon as they saw your face, their expressions relaxed and became more receptive. Oh no, it's nothing like that. It's not nothing. I trust you too. Me too. Thank you. <sighs>
Even though I'm superior to him, he always gets all the credit. <laughs> I don't acknowledge it. In that negotiation, things didn't go smoothly between me and the client. Maybe it's partly your fault too, senpai. What do you mean? You hadn't told me about the personality of that client beforehand. We could have worked together much better. Certainly, knowing the personality of someone like that in advance can be important sometimes. No, it's absolutely necessary. If I had known, this situation wouldn't have happened. Everyone may think that I just rushed ahead on my own, but that's not the case. I think it's your fault, senpai, for not prompting me about the client properly. What? My fault? If you knew they would act like this, don't you think you should have stopped me from going? That's not how that works. <sighs> Although this issue was resolved, going forward, I would appreciate it if you could act after communicating internally. We're colleagues, so let's continue to do our best together. Yosan's <sighs> attitude. We might still need to keep an eye on his actions. What's with this confident atmosphere of senpai? And it seems like you're trusted by Senzaki-san too. I really don't like it. Since it's come to this, I'll have to take drastic measures. The next morning... Huh? What's wrong? I can't find the documents we were supposed to use for today's contract. I'm sure I left them here. I'll look for them too. Thank you. They're not here. Yeah... Oh well, we have the data, so let's print them out again. I'll help. Hmm? Is there something wrong with the data? The content has been changed. Who could have... Well, let's put that aside for now. We need to prepare the contract document as soon as possible. Can you check the entirety of the contract starting now? Do we have enough time until the appointment? We might be able to restore it to a previous version using the revision history. I see. Alright. Even so, I'm not sure if we'll make it to the appointment on time. We'll need to print out and bind two copies, one for us and one for them. Then we'll need to stamp not only the company seal, but also the personal seal, then the revenue sticker, and stamp the counter seal with the company seal, then do a final check. Preparing a contract document takes quite a bit of time even if the content is already determined. I'll help too. Anyway, we have to hurry. Oh, isn't this the document for the project that Senpai is in charge of? Isn't it important? Why did I find it here? <laughs> huh? Huh? Look at this! Weren't you in trouble because you lost this? Seriously, please be more careful. Here you go. What does this mean? Right back at you. Anyways, let's hurry to make it in time for the appointment. Yes, let's go! Huh? Aren't you going to thank me for finding the documents and bringing them to you? <sighs> let's just go for now. We barely made it to the appointment on time and managed to successfully sign the contract. However, several mysteries remain unresolved in the office. Were you able to seal the deal? Yes, without any further trouble. Well, that was a close call, but I saved the day because I found that document. Yuyo-san, you... Let's first notify Senzaki-san, Yuyo-san. Understood. So, that is what happened. The contract-related documents got lost. It's puzzling, isn't it? I see. So now, to avoid being heard by other employees, we're here in a meeting room, right? That's correct. We can't guarantee that incidents like this won't happen again in the future. It'll disrupt our work. I'd like to investigate what happened with this matter with Yui-san. Would that be alright? Understood. Give it a try. Yui-san and I focused on the night before the documents went missing, and investigated from various angles. As a result, it became apparent that a certain individual could be involved. With some objective evidence in hand, we decided to question that person. Why did you call me to the meeting room? The person who emerged from Yui-san and I's investigation was Hideo. 
Do you remember this incident? When the contract documents I prepared the day before went missing by the next morning? We're looking into that matter. That oh, was probably because Senpai carelessly left them lying around, right? Are you trying to blame someone else for that? You need to get your act together first. <laughs> no, I definitely put them away in my desk drawer. I always do that with important documents. I also saw Keiji san storing them in that drawer the day before. If, hypothetically, someone took those important documents, wouldn't that make it difficult to trust them and work together in the future? So let's get to the point. When we checked the records for employee attendance, on the night before the documents went missing, it showed that Hideo-san was the last one in the office until late at night. Was there anything unusual that day? Huh? Nothing at all. Really? Can you try to remember? You can spill the beans, you know. What's that supposed to mean? Seriously, there was absolutely, absolutely nothing unusual at all. What, are you suggesting that I took the documents? Do you intend to treat me like that based solely based on the fact that I was at my desk the night before? Well, listen, not only were the documents missing, but the data in them had also been altered. Imagine this. You find out in the morning of the contract day that the documents are missing. Wouldn't you panic and try to reprint and remake them? In the heat of the moment, a contract with the wrong details would be printed out. Is that so? So what does that have to do with me? The access time to this data is recorded, you know? Oh? So what does that mean? According to those records, you were the only person in the office at the time. Uh, but it's not like somebody was watching, right? Even if there was a record of it, couldn't someone else have sneaked in and accessed it while I went to the restroom or something? Whose computer was used to access the documents? Maybe that could tell us something. The data was accessed from the computer on my desk. Really, Senpai? You probably did it yourself, didn't you? Changing the content of the documents yourself? And then forgetting about it? How careless can you be? <laughs> Seriously, get it together. Uh, what are you talking about? B because isn't that right? The data was accessed and changed from your computer, right? So isn't it likely that you did it yourself? Are you still not planning to tell the truth? You do know that our office computers have fingerprint authentication when logging in, right? Huh? Yeah? Your fingerprint was recorded. You used Keiji-san's computer to make it look like he was the one who changed the data, right? <sighs> it seems that you got caught because you went out of your way to change the data. I've heard enough. <gasps> S senzaki san you were listening? Yes. The fact that you were trying to hide your actions instead of admitting to them was also noted. <sighs> Why did you do such a thing? I... I wanted to make Keiji fail and look bad. What? Hmm? Because Keiji-san kept getting all the attention and trust instead of me. I wanted to be recognized within this company, not Keiji-san. For such a petty reason! <sighs> that contract on that day was also a big deal for the company. Not only once, but twice you put the company in jeopardy. <sighs> Especially this time, it's not a matter of negligence or carelessness. It was intentional. You will receive some form of punishment from the company. It, yes, I guess it's all over. Hideo received a pay cut and was transferred to another department. Feeling out of place within the company with no prospect for advancement, he eventually resigned. Despite searching for a new job, he struggled to find another company willing to hire him. As for me and Yui-san, we worked together to overcome this difficulty caused by Hideo-san. Our bond deepened because of this. And it seems like there is some sort of affection between us. At least that's the feeling I have these days. 
Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to the channel.